What's up guys, Rick from DFS On Demand here with the one and done preview for the Quicken Loans National. Looking back at last week and we did it. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We had Bubba Watson in two of our three lineups. Unfortunately, I didn't have a video for it. Um, I know some of you guys have already killed me on Twitter about it. I think I might have tweeted out who I was on um, before the tournament actually started, but I was on vacation. No video last week, and we pulled a winner. Maybe I shouldn't do a video this week, but here we are. Um, so let's take a peek at where we're at here. This was the first time we picked a winner all season long. It's actually kind of hard to believe. We locked in Bubba in our best two lineups, thankfully. And Xander Shoffley took a goose egg in our third lineup, which is hot garbage at the moment. So where do we stand? Um, lineup number one, still our best lineup for the season, just a shade under $4 million. Our best segment three, our best ma majors and players segment all of our eggs essentially in the uh, uh, the first lineup here. Lineup number two, although not, not really that far behind, but a little bit uninspiring um, in some of the segments. We still have an, uh, a shot at segment four. Um, I guess maybe an outside shot at segment three if we were to pick maybe three winners in a row, something like that. And then lineup number three, really, really bad. Um, we'll, we'll talk about what we're going to do here shortly, but we're at the point now where I don't even think I can win segment three if I pick three winners. We're going to punt the rest of segment three. I, I just can't get over, I can't bring myself to using anyone valuable here in these last three tournaments when it's, when it's really not going to do anything. Um, so where do we, where do we stand? So we were very, very bad for the first, I don't know, two-thirds of this season, but we're getting a lot better. So season long, our best lineup is 621st out of something like 1,700. So top third, we've been bottom third for basically the, the entirety of this thing. So this, this lineup is gaining a lot of ground on the field. 806 for lineup number two, right about middle of the pack. And then our third lineup, literally one of the, the worst lineups that there is. And down here with a lot of guys that have not made multiple picks this year. Um, so pretty, pretty bad. Uh, for the segments, for segment three, we're in 195th, 370th, and then 1446. So segment three, um, we, got some, we got some bullets in. And then the majors and the players, um, 331, 915, and 1102. So what are we going to do this week for the Quicken Loans National? If you want the full preview, go watch the DFS video. I recorded it and released it already. This is just in regards to the one and done pool. It's a really interesting week. This week, you're basically uh, very likely to pick a player who has a really good odds of winning this that you'll never use again and be happy to do so. It's actually a pretty good week. Um, so like Francesco Molinari, I assume is in this pool is going to be fairly chalky, right? In, in terms of draft Kings, he's, he's the fourth highest priced player. He's 22 to one to win it. Those are great odds. He's, um, he's found success here in the past. He had a 25th at the U S open. Molinari is going to be very popular. And in this pool, if I can go to how often he's been used, only 7%, okay, 7.7%. So now's your chance. I've actually used him already um, in one of my lineups. Here's your chance to get Molinari in a great spot. I assume everyone is going to take advantage of that. Ricky Fowler, here with the best odds to win, um, has been used 55% of the lineups, or 55% of the lineups in this pool. I don't think I can use him. I think I've used him everywhere. I have. I've used him in all three lineups. So we're out on Fowler. Tiger Woods is going to be an option here. I'm not as optimistic on Tiger as maybe the rest of the industry is. Um, I'm not going to use him. 
Uh, although I think it is going to be a pretty good option because he has already been used in something like 44%. Here we go. Yeah, 44% of lineups. So nearly half the field can't even use him this week. So I think if you are going to play Tiger at some point, this is absolutely the week to do it. Um, I was thinking about going with, so I'll, I'll just get to it. Um, I'm, I'm going to take Mark Leishman as kind of my, my 1A play. Uh, Leishman, you know, I'm going to say he has the second best odds to win this. I know that Tiger is 13 to 1, but we've talked a lot that Tiger's true odds to win a golf tournament are nowhere near what his actual Vegas odds are. Leishman has been very volatile. Okay, it's been a second place followed by a 62nd. Missed the cut at the Travelers. But when I ran it, when I ran the stat regression, he popped up all over the place and he finished 5th here last year, which is the only time that this course TPC Potomac was used for the Quicken Loans National. He has also been used in 5th nearly 54% of lineups this year. So here's what I think is going to happen. First of all, half the field can't use Leishman. Um, also, the entirety of the field has access to Kyle Stanley, JB Holmes, Francesco Molinari, guys that are going to be really popular. And, and like this is the only spot you'd be comfortable using them in. Then you have Tiger Woods in the field. So even if you have half the field that hasn't used Tiger, this might be the week they choose them, that, that they choose to use him. I think it's going to leave Leishman completely overlooked. I'm hoping, right? So I think I'm going to get the guy who is either the second or third best odds to win this golf tournament at a super low owned clip. Okay, so that's my goal here. So we'll lock Mark Leishman in. Whoops, can't spell his name. Leishman. into both of our first two lineups. I'm willing to roll with this. Um, quite honestly, I would have probably used Tiger in this second lineup if I hadn't already used him at the Arnold Palmer. I don't feel comfortable enough putting him in my one, my 1A one spot, for example. Um, I want Leishman in there for sure. So by default, we could have put Tiger in our second lineup, but I've already used him. So He's out there. So what that does is we're going to get Leishman in both of these positions. And we're going to hope for a really low ownership and a win, hopefully. And then for our third lineup, so as I kind of mentioned at the start here, we really don't have anything to play for in this segment. Um, even with three wins, we can't win the segment. It's not like we're, we have any majors or anything left here. It's basically a punt until segment four. So... I'm not going to use anybody that I would use in segment four coming down the stretch. That doesn't make any sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a guy that I like, pick a guy that I think is underowned, pick a guy that I'm not go or, or undervalued, and pick a guy that I know I'm probably not going to use the rest of the way. Um, and that's going to and, and there's a couple options there, right? Like Kevin Na, I think was interesting. Stuart Sink was interesting. Um, even David Lingworth would have been interesting. But I'm going to go with Charles Howe the third. So 28 to 1, which is a value compared to his DFS price. I know that that doesn't come into play here. But 28 to 1, same odds as J.B. Holmes to win this thing. So I think he's undervalued. Finished second place here last year. He's coming off two straight top 25s, essentially. So I like Charles Howell. Uh, if he goes out and wins it, it's, gonna, it's almost going to stink a little bit because he's going to be in our lineup that it doesn't mean anything for. But we'll have a little bit of, of bragging rights. It's, it's almost like a pride pick in that third spot at this point. So we'll go with... Charles Howe, the third. Um, let me know what you guys think about that and what my strategy should be here for lineup number three. Um, but I think I've got a pretty good one. It's it, it basically plays itself because the lineup is so bad. But let me know who you're playing this week. Tweet me. It's at DFS On Demand or leave a comment below. And I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.